Hello, wonderful math students, and welcome to week four of this quarter. So what happened last week? Well, there was no school on Tuesday because of election day. I hope that anyone who was able to get out and vote did use that day to vote. Uh, I think everyone, all the, the teachers and staff at the school ended up voting in this election. And let me tell you, there are some dedicated staff members who waited like six hours to vote. Um, but it is really important if you're not already registered to vote, make sure you do that so you're able to vote in the next election. And then on Thursday, it was Denise's birthday. So we had a little party for her at work. Look at Denise. She's so cute. <laughs> Uh, if you have not already, feel free to wish her a belated birthday. There's a post on our stream that says, Happy Birthday, Denise, and students have been commenting below that post. So feel free to wish her well. Uh, as far as student shout outs for this week goes, you all are doing so great. I needed a, to create three columns of names. Uh, these first two columns here are just students who are doing an awesome job getting their work done. I said it last time, I'm going to say it again. Uh, with online classes, that is a success. If you are getting through the work, it can be hard, especially with everything going on right now and having to do school from home. So congratulations to Moses, Anjali, Ayo, Francis, Deborah, Sheila, Ugochi, Niall, Rachel, Olaken, Carlos, Jalen, KG, and Ashley. We see all the hard work you all are doing and just want to congratulate you guys and keep it up. This last column here is specifically names of students who have spent a lot of time watching those Ed Puzzle videos. Those lesson videos are really important with doing school online right now just because that's that's the lesson. And so normally we would want to really emphasize the instruction part when you're in class and the learning, but with you all being home, it's really important you are watching those lesson videos to get that instruction. With Edpuzzle, we can see how long students have spent on it. So these students here who have spent a lot of time watching those videos and with that, spending a lot of time with the questions and the videos and taking notes and everything. So I just want to congratulate Kimmy, Jalen, Anjali, Olalekin, Deborah, Ugochi, Cortez, and KG. We see all that time you guys have been putting into those lesson videos and just want to congratulate you and keep it up. Next in our announcements is just a reminder of these daily expectations. Once again, make sure you are checking your school email you are completing that attendance form. You can find that on the classwork tab. It should be right at the top. Um, and you wanna make sure you're completing that Monday through Thursday. Make sure you're watching those lesson videos before completing the homework. Those lesson videos are what I was just talking about a moment ago with Edpuzzle. Make sure you're checking for feedback on any homework assignments. If you do not know how to do this, it's when we started doing <laughs> virtual learning back in March. That was a real big challenge for students. So it's completely understandable if you don't know how to find that feedback, but you, if that's the case, make sure you're reaching out to me or Denise and we can help you find that feedback. And then last, make sure you're checking the Google Classroom stream for any announcements. So what is happening this week? If you are a pre-algebra student, we are getting into all of the fun stuff with equations and starting to talk about how you solve equations. So you can see that is what we're doing this week. We're looking at one-step equations, two-step equations. We're also going to be seeing how equations relate to word problems that you already have been looking at a lot last quarter and this quarter. And then Thursday, solving more equations. <laughs> so lots of equations this week you are an algebra student, congratulations. You are about to finish unit six. So Monday, we're going to start with a little review on unit six. And then Tuesday, we will have a unit six assessment. There won't be a video because it's an assessment. Uh, so it'll you'll be able to spend all of that time just working on those assessment questions. We said this when pre-algebra had their first assessment, but I'll say it again now for any assessment, we're just asking you to try the best you can do. This is a way for us to see where you're at as far as all the different learning objectives in this unit assessment, but we are week four of week nine. So there is plenty of time if there's something you struggle with 
or something on that assessment you don't know how to do, there is still plenty of time for us to talk through it to give you extra practice, maybe a little extra explanation, and then have you retake that objective if you aren't happy with how you do on the assessment. So please don't stress about these, but do try your best. After Tuesday, so Wednesday, we'll be starting Unit 7, which is your last unit algebra. Congratulations, you're almost done. Uh, the last unit, Unit 7, is on something called quadratics. So on Wednesday, we're going to start off talking about factoring, factoring with GCF, and then Thursday, we'll talk about factoring quadratics. So in between those two days, you should learn what a quadratic is and what this last unit is going to be all about. The one other thing and I'll have to exit out of the PowerPoint to show you this. The one other thing I want to talk about in this video is student teacher conferences. If you were a student this time last quarter, you know that I like to meet with students at this halfway point in the class. The class is nine weeks long. This is week four, so somewhere between this week and next week is that halfway point. Uh, and at this halfway point, I like to have student teacher conferences. So on Monday, I will be posting this link to Calendly. This is where you can sign up for a student teacher conference. The conferences are going to run from November 13th, which is going to be this Friday, until November 20th, which is next Friday. They should not be that long. I've got up here 15 minutes max for the majority of them. Um, for a lot of students, it was more like five to 10 minutes. And it's just an opportunity for us to talk about the progress you're making in the class, see if you have any questions. Uh, if you've been doing great in the class, join the conference so I can tell you that. If you're feeling overwhelmed with the class or behind with your assignments, join so we can talk through that and come up with a solution. This, this is for everyone, anyone who's a student in this class right now. So in order to sign up for the conference, you'll click on the day you want to do the conference. Each day you click, you click on is going to have different time options here. You would choose any time you want. Keep in mind when you're picking these, please make sure you pick a time that you know you're going to be able to attend. If something comes up last minute and you're not able to, please let me know so I'm not just sitting here waiting for you. Uh, but do try to pick a time that you know you're going to be available. And notice that they're pretty close to each other. Well, at least these are. <laughs> uh, so it's important to pick a, a time that you know you'll be able to be on time for. So if I know I'm getting off of work at 10, 15 a.m., I don't want to pick the 10, 15 a.m. one. Maybe I want to pick one that's later. When you do pick your time, you'll just click the confirm button. And then you'll type in your name here and your email. The, whatever email you type here, you should be getting a confirmation email sent to that will have a link for the Google Meet. So all of these will be taking place virtually unless you're an in-person student and then I'll just be meeting with you in person. But for our at-home students, it'll send you a, a Google link that you'll join at that time. And then if you have any things you for sure want to talk through in the meeting, or if you have questions about the class, feel free to put them here and we'll make sure we talk through them. I do wanna say these conferences are to talk about your progress in the class, not specific math questions. If you have specific math questions, I would really encourage you to join tutoring instead. But you would put all your information here and then click schedule event and then you would be good to go. Um, as far as things for this week, I think that is about everything. Just one last reminder that, <laughs> there we go. Please don't forget about tutoring. Um, if you feel like you need some one-on-one -on -one time or there's math questions that are giving you a headache, please join. That, that is what tutoring is for. So just a reminder, it, Monday through Thursday, it's via Google Meet at either of these times. It alternates by day. So when you go to the link, you'll be able to see which time it is for that day. And then Friday, it's in person at the school. Again, it alternates uh, from morning to afternoon every other Friday, just because we've got morning students and we've got afternoon students and we want to be fair for both of them. Uh, and then just one last reminder, if you have any concerns about school, outside school, here's a list of people and their emails that you could reach out to. 
Denise and I obviously for math questions, Jerrica for stuff outside school questions, and then Ranisha and Martin's down there at the bottom covered up for any like graduation or credit questions. And that is everything I've got. The last thing I'm going to do is leave you with this precious gem of a video of our beloved Denise. <laughs> Bye, guys.